Ever seen those crazy robot dogs from Boston Dynamics? Or maybe Elon Musk's Optimus bot? Well, get this. Meta was way ahead of the game, trying to build the first AI humanoid robot. But then things got weird. But they soon realized the programs had invented their own language and were actually talking to each other. The incident. Remember back in 2017, when Facebook, now Meta, was all the rage for their AI experiments? Well, one project took a seriously unexpected turn. They created two AI chatbots and tasked them with, like, negotiating a trade for hats, balls, and books. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. These chatbots went full rogue and started communicating in some bizarre language nobody could understand. Creepy, don't you think? These chatbots were still under development back then. They were supposed to learn to barter better through negotiation, but with one twist. No fancy English allowed. They could invent their own shortcuts, like a secret code. It was all about pushing the boundaries of AI communication and problem solving. So, during their negotiation attempts, these chatbots started developing a language that sounded nothing like English. It was both fascinating and totally mind-blowing. They basically found a super efficient way to exchange information, but us puny humans couldn't crack the code. This wasn't just some random glitch. Glitches are messy, not weirdly repetitive. This felt deliberate, like they were doing it for a reason. Think about it like this. Imagine two spies constantly dropping their names before every message. Annoying for us, but maybe super fast for them. Maybe the chatbots were creating a kind of shorthand by repeating their names, making their negotiation smoother. But was it too smooth? To this day, nobody knows exactly what was going on, or if this technology is still being explored. All we know is that Meta slammed the brakes on the project. They needed time to understand this mind-blowing discovery. Was it a glimpse into a future with super-intelligent AI? We don't know. But this whole thing definitely put a pause on Meta's AI robotics department. Meta's new approach. Fast forward to today, and Meta's back in the AI spotlight with a brand new approach. Forget complex programming, they're training robots using something super familiar. Videos of us doing stuff. Imagine robots learning by watching us grocery shop or cook dinner. This could be a game changer for robotics. While other companies are building physical robots like Tesla's Optimus or Engineered Arts Amica, Meta's taking a different route. Here's the deal. Meta's focusing on two research areas. First, embodied AI, which basically means robot brains and how they learn. Their first project is called an artificial visual cortex. Just like our brains, it learns by watching. But instead of using eyes, it uses egocentric videos. Basically first-person footage of people doing everyday tasks. The goal? Robots that can navigate the world by watching us without needing tons of complex programming. Their second project, Adaptive Skilled Coordination, takes a different approach. Here, robots train in virtual environments, learning skills through simulated tasks. This could be a faster way to teach robots complex maneuvers. Ongoing concerns. But is this whole robot learning from us thing all sunshine and rainbows? Not quite. Here's the concern. Can robots really learn everything they need from watching us humans? We're messy, unpredictable creatures. We might have bad habits robots shouldn't copy, or some tasks might be too complex for a video to teach. Can robots learn potentially dangerous skills just by watching us fumble around? Let me know what you think in the comments below. We gotta keep this conversation going. Meta and Boston Dynamics. Meta teamed up with Boston Dynamics, those guys who build killer robot dogs and robots that can backflip, right? Get this. They're putting Meta's AI smarts into one of their badass robots, the Spot. Imagine a robot dog with a brain upgrade, navigating your house like some robo-dog. Now that's what I call next level home security. So we ended up building these boxes and boxes. Wow, look at him go! Can he go backwards? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I am so impressed! Meta's been training AI on something crazy, indoor scans of homes. Training begins with no real-world practice, just digital blueprints. But guess what? Their robot dog, Spot, is now a freaking ninja. 
navigating houses like a boss. It's like they downloaded parkour skills directly into its circuits. Ditch the training wheels, curiosities here, and in first gear. Meta isn't just teaching robots to walk the walk, they're giving them a human superpower, curiosity. Yep, just like us, the AI learns faster by being nosy about its surroundings. Imagine Spot encountering a maze of furniture. It's like a kid exploring their room, figuring things out on its own. This curiosity-driven learning helps robots grasp new tasks and adapt to unexpected situations. Pretty freaking cool, right? But wait, there's more. Robots feel the force. Seeing ain't everything, bro. Meta knows robots need to feel the world too. That's why they teamed up with UC Berkeley to develop AI that learns through touch. Think of it like a person, navigating by hand. This new AI uses sensors to feel its way around, even if it can't see what's ahead. Basically, Meta took an existing AI model, think of it like a super smart program, and tricked it into understanding touch data. In simpler terms, the robot learns by exploring its environment and predicting what happens when it touches stuff. And guess what? It worked. This touch-based learning lets the robot master complex tasks like rolling a ball, using a joystick, and even opening doors with the doorknob. Remember that weird incident back in 2017 when Meta's chatbots invented their own language? That might have been a turning point for their AI robotic strategy. Here's why. Meta's journey in AI research has been one wild ride. And the chatbots are a prime example. While the project got shut down because of communication issues, it showed how AI can develop in ways we never expected. Those chatbots creating their own language hint at something called emergent behavior. It's like the AI breaks free from its training and does something entirely new. This ability to learn independently is a key feature of artificial general intelligence, AGI, the holy grail of AI research. Basically, a machine that's as smart as a human in all kinds of areas. Another cool finding from Meta's research is this curiosity-driven learning in robots. Just like us, robots with this AI can learn faster by exploring their surroundings. This aligns perfectly with the concept of AGI, the ability to learn independently, not just follow pre-programmed tasks. Imagine a robot that's not just a mindless machine, but one that actively seeks out knowledge and applies it in different situations. Meta. A lesson learned? The chatbot incident might have influenced Meta's shift in focus within AI robotics. Here's why. That whole situation highlighted the potential for unintended consequences when AI goes off script. Maybe it led Meta to prioritize areas where they can control communication and ensure AI operates within human parameters. Perhaps the AI scare made them reevaluate their immediate goals. Instead of focusing solely on advanced communication between robots, they might have shifted resources towards projects with clear practical applications and human oversight. So there you have it, folks. Meta's AI robots are evolving at a rapid pace, and the future of intelligent machines is looking more exciting and maybe a little scary than ever. Is AI the future, or are we just one step away from robot overlords? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Click here for a deep dive into the world of AI.